Now, moving forward, will he play through it? I mean, like I said, man, James Worthy threw on goggles. I think he had a similar injury, if not worse. And and uh, go to work, man. It's that time of the season. But but through the through the career of Kentucky, watching AD at Kentucky and New Orleans in these couple years in Los Angeles, I don't believe I've ever seen him play with a face mask before. Has he ever been able to play? Has he ever played with a face mask before? And how how much of an adjustment is that going to be to his offense efficiency? If so, because the Lakers really need him to be on point from now moving forward with these last 14 games. They can't afford for him to have to learn how to readjust because he got a face mask on it's, it's do or die it's do or die you got you got to suit up and you got to play the best of, of your abilities you know what i mean so at the end of the day man if, if if he if he does suit up then props to him if he doesn't then again i'm i can't really judge him on based off of how he feels right because i ain't never had that in, injury but what i can say is uh good luck to the lakers man right now we have our backs against the wall and yeah. and uh it's not looking good regardless of the injury or not, right? right. And uh, that's unfortunate because we, we seem to be getting players back. We see Gabe Vincent practicing. You know, uh, he, he was cleared for non-contact drills. We hear about uh, potentially uh, Vando, who's who's crucial to this team, coming back by the end of the month. But we might not be uh, in, in a good standing by the time these guys come back. So That's a fact. That's a fact. Ace Boogie in the building. Ace Boogie salute. Shout out to everybody in the live chat. Hey, Got big homie in the building. Cole, what's up, brother? So, oh man, you see that game last night? You catch any highlights? Um, yes, it was actually pretty ridiculous. My voice is gone. I just came up oh, here. Oh man, say, I just came up here to say, um, the reason AD didn't return is because his eye was swollen shut. Mm. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, cool, cool. Appreciate you, bro. But no let me let me let me ask you this though, because the way they got beat up in the paint last night, the Lakers. Wouldn't a one eye AD at least help? I'm being selfish, but I'm just like, damn, the way they got humiliated inside the post. I'm like, Brad, I, I, I would have rather had AD out there with, with a patch on his damn eye to play the minutes, man. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to be so serious. Jackson Hayes could have gotten the job done. The problem is that you don't go small ball with the Warriors because you can't beat the Warriors at small ball. That's what Dad said. That was That's a coaching issue. We could have won with Jackson Hayes, but instead we played LeBron at the five and Torian Prince ended up with 30 minutes again somehow. Agreed. And to add to what he said, man, it, it'd be like trying to outswim Michael Phelps in, in a pool. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't beat somebody at what they do, like their specialty, right? Uh, and going small ball was built by the – I mean, think about it. The Warriors are the first small ball team to win a, a championship in the modern NBA. Yep. Before that, what was the other small ball team that tried to win a championship? The Phoenix Suns. And, and they couldn't do it. So, you know, the league hadn't copied and, and tried to emulate them. But it's, just, it's ridiculous how when well, you don't you don't have the MO to go small. We don't have a, a Draymond Green at the five. We don't have, you know what I'm saying? Like, AD is a four. And and we really got exposed yesterday when AD, as soon as he got hurt, Lakers didn't know what to do, man. They were like fishes out of water. For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Lakerland Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties and, of course, the Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.